yard ladder. Donovan Mitchell of the Utah Jazz. Mitchell, who is 24 years old, has been into the playoffs all four years of his young career. So far in these playoffs, he is 6-1. and one. In 33 minutes per game, he's averaging 32 points, 5 assists, and 3 rebounds on 51-44-85 splits. And his PER is a very impressive 28.1. Josh, what do you think about Donovan Mitchell as a player to collect for the long term? Well, if you're trying to build the best Donovan Mitchell collection, you got a long uphill battle. My friend Ross, shout out to Ross. He has like all of the Donovan Mitchell rookies. He's got the logo man auto and the he's got like I think he has three or four of the gold prisms out of the ten or something. I think he has four of them. So it's like your options are very limited. Thanks a lot, Ross. You're making it you're making it hard for some of these other guys. Um, but that could create rarity and scarcity, you know, if you think about it that way. His stuff is going to be hard to collect because of that. I think he does have a pretty decent uh, long-term collectability to him. He's not quite as popular as uh, Tatum from his rookie year. He seems to be not quite as popular as Trey or John Morant or Zion. And maybe that's maybe that's like the Utah thing, you know, just being like a smaller market. Or I'm not sure exactly, but he's 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 a very exciting player, you know, flashy, long threes. Um, efficient like you pointed out so i'm not sure but i think um you know he's definitely someone to look at uh if you're looking to collect someone a little bit you know against the grain a little bit i think he's a fun player to collect what do you think about the fact that he's just much better in the playoffs than he is in the regular season his player efficiency rating jumps up by like 30 to 35 percent in the playoffs his counting numbers go way up to during the regular season, you know, I don't know, he's maybe a top 30, top 40 player. In the playoffs, he like goes to a superstar level. Do you think that impacts his collectability at all for the better or for the worse? Absolutely. Yeah. Collectors love playoff time, crunch time. I mean, this goes back to like this really started with Michael Jordan where it's like, you know, this this concept of like winning time and being clutch and that's very important to the history of the sports now and you know winning championships and collectability all these things kind of wrapped up into what michael jordan is so anytime you can get to that level of raising your game to a really high level when it matters most uh people are always just going to kind of compare that to michael jordan so i think that definitely helps stiff same question to you is donovan mitchell a player to collect for the long haul i he's somebody yeah when i watch him like man i wish i had his cards and okay very good and christina take us home any thoughts on donovan mitchell to wrap the show no pressure but this is the final question and answer of the whole show let's go jazz oh that's right what what i think they're due i think they're due yeah fighting words i think they're due a a title i'm looking forward to them uh maybe winning it all and uh, make Stockton and Malone proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sons. And why are you rooting for the Jazz? Because when I play NBA Jam, I always pick Stockton and Malone. You also, oh, that's not why. You also don't like the team that they're playing right now. Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to say their name. The Clippers beat the Mavs, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I'm a fan of the opposite variety where, like, okay, the Clippers beat the Mavs. I want the Clippers yes. to go all the way, win the That's whole right. thing, yep. Yep. no losses. That uh, better that validates the Mavs taking them to seven. I'm more vengeful right. than that. <laughs> <Okay>. All right. <laughs>